Okay, guys. So I was going through it with my 04 WJ, looking up all kinds of reasons that the interior lights wouldn't turn off. When I bought this about a month ago, this was pulled down a little bit and there was a plug that was disconnected. All the light covers were gone, all the bulbs were gone. I said, screw it. Well, whatever, figure it out. So I ended up pushing that back up and just kind of writing it off for a little while. I got a hair and I ordered some LED lights to re try to replace them, see if it was just the bulbs. Anyways, all the running around I did, all the little shakiness and everything that was going on, like it would kind of work, it wouldn't work. Certain doors would be open, certain doors were closed. The hatch was open, it would turn off sometimes. What I figured out, after I plugged this back in, I wasn't able to, the LED bulbs I got didn't quite fit the front ones, but I got them all the way around. But either way, so you, I got them all to turn on and turn off proper, like the switch that everybody makes videos about on the, on the uh, light stick coming off the driving the steering column uh making sure that that's not completely off or whatever or all the way on and if you wait they are turning off um but super simple all of the, all of the lights will turn on and off function as proper but these two back lights have got a high and a low setting. And if you have either of them on low, it won't turn off. They'll only turn off when the doors are closed if, if these lights are on the high setting. I mean, it could be a little bug in the wiring system or something, but I don't think so. Um, Yeah, I messed with this thing for probably about five hours before I realized there was a high and a low. I just thought that there was a short somewhere and like when I was first messing with it that that one just wouldn't turn off. But it'll turn off, but it's gotta be on high. Now there's low, there's, there's no high when the car's not running, there's only low. So it must be on high right now, yeah. There's low, and it'll stay on, the rest of the lights will go off. And it'll feel like you got a gremlin. It's not, it's just a weird wiring thing, I think. I haven't seen this fix on any other videos that I've looked up for these things. Um, but yeah, you can turn off. I don't know if you gotta, I'm gonna wait till the rest of them turn off. Um, on the back side as well, there's a button, it's a pressure plate that if that is punched in, all your lights will be on. Even this one here, that's on low. You turn it off, this one's still on because it's on low. So it's gotta be on high. <laughs> it's a mess. It's really weird. I'm glad I spent five hours and I got all my lighting figured out and I actually, know that it works instead of just leaving that plug that the guy bef bef before me had unclipped probably out of frustration because he couldn't figure it out and just because it doesn't really honestly make a whole lot of sense all right maybe that'll help that's what i got okay